good afternoon. For those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm Bill Ashley. I'm the Vice President of State Affairs as well as Athletic Director of College. Uh, today we're here to uh, introduce our new women's soccer coach, and our women's soccer coach, Coach Zach Mills. Uh, coach Mills, I'll say this, is the ultimate student advocate. Uh, he first came to Southwest on a part-time basis uh, helping with soccer. And soon enough, he was uh, promoted to run the head, uh, been the head of the men's residence hall. And of course, he's been interviewed at least five times here in various capacities. And of course, he's got a lot of, uh, a lot of sticking power and he's had to go through the, uh, through the flames, so to speak. Uh, so as we did that, he progressed his past season into being our full-time assistant, uh, soccer coach for both men and women's programs. And all told, uh, together, Coach Mills has been a loyal member of the Student Affairs Division. He's also been a member of the athletic department for three years here at Southwest. So that uh, type of loyalty is important to me. As far as his coaching experience goes, Coach, is co uh, coach Mills has coached uh, both community college as well as 5A, now 6A, high school soccer uh, for the total of six years. Uh, coach Mills was previously um, assistant at Yonks at high school as well as our part-time assistant and became our full-time assistant. Uh, Coach Mills also has extensive playing experience, okay? Uh, to me, that matters. I know he's uh, basically, basically played both uh, community college, four-year college, played in the professional ranks. Uh, that was important. And I also noticed he was a member of the Mississippi High School uh, All-Star team as well. So those are some important things with me. As far as his education goes, uh, Coach Mills is pursuing uh, what appears to be two master's degrees, a master's degree in Spanish as well as how to teach English to others who do not speak English, or Spanish uh, or English. So he's doing uh, a lot on all fronts here, and I think that's important for the college. Um, as far as our soccer program goes, he's been a part of the soccer program, the men's program specifically, um, and he was a part of our best record since 2009, and it was our second best uh, season this past year in the total program history. Uh, so with improvements to our soccer facilities, our field, and some other things that are going on in Southwest Soccer. I know Coach uh, Mills is very important. And he's very important for continuity, and I appreciate his vision. Uh, without any further talking about me, I'd like to introduce Zach Mills, our new head, men's soccer coach. <laughs> The opportunity to play at the next level in Peru not only allowed me to keep pursuing the Spanish degree and, and just improving my second language, but uh, I would really like to be able to keep those connections, keep that communication between myself and, and those players, coaches, and, and programs down there. One day, you know, perhaps send a few of our players as well. Uh, the experience that I gained was just truly amazing. And, uh, I don't regret it for a minute. I've known for, for some time now that I would like to, to coach, especially at the collegiate level. So everything I've, I've done, especially you know, in the recent years, has, has been preparing me for this. Uh, my enthusiasm, I'd say, it would be it hasn't faltered. I think the you know, players will, will tell you I'm, I'm the first you know, that wants to get out there, wants to, get, wants to help them get better, uh, as well as you know, improve myself and, and on and off the field. My vision for this program is for it to continually grow into the most competitive programs possible on both sides, men's and women's. I'd like to create and develop an environment that, that attracts those future stars 
like that we have some already, right? But um, uh, definitely, I can see it, you know, becoming. I can see Southwest becoming more well known for soccer. You know, that's what I want to do. Um, right now, as a, a women's interim head coach, I'm extremely uh, excited about everything. Optimistic. We have returners coming back. For example, Taylor Laurent as a freshman named all region and that, that's a rare uh, to find that kind of thing and then we also have a, a signee Janiah Watkins from well originally from Ocean Springs she plays a go she's just she's a defender and she's gonna gonna help our team a lot we have so many returners and have some more uh, that I'm doing some paperwork on right now that, that I can't wait to bring them in get started this this spring training the team getting everyone ready to transfers as well, and then in the fall, you know, putting it all together. As far as the men, men's side, um, we have, we had a, uh, one player, Morris Aiken, who was named NJCAA National Player of the Week during the season, and he's coming back, hopefully lead the team to some more victories. Um, we're, we're really excited about some of our uh, signees. We have Michael Escobar, a midfielder from Biloxi. He plays at St. Patrick. Very, very talented. Um, then the Hunter Ford, Tamir Ponder, and Enrique Zuniga. They're all from Oak Grove, which is a powerhouse um, here in, in Hattiesburg. And they've they've done well. You know, the school, the program has done well for some time now. So I'm, I'm very excited to, to bring those players. And then we have Nick Garman from Van Cleve, who's a forward, and uh, Derek Houston from Poplarville, who's midfielder, forward. He can, he can kind of play it all. And then we also have Cameron Stanovich, uh, Biloxi, and he's a midfielder that will help this team. But um, those, those guys, along with the returns we have, the leaders we have, will definitely make, make some great strides next year. So I can't wait to see what they have planned for us. But um, yeah, I'm just uh, looking forward to everything. Definitely uh, appreciative of, of what you guys have done. And I cannot wait to see where we go from here. Thanks, sir. I'll do a few concluding remarks as far as our athletic program in general, but again, we're glad to have Zach Mills uh, come from inside and be promoted up, work through the ranks, become our head, head soccer coach for our men's program as well as interim soccer coach for our women's program. Uh, currently, the Lady Bear basketball team is 10-1. and one. Uh, Also, our, our men's Bears are 6-4 and four as well. And of course, we have a big, uh, big week coming up next week. It'll start off here with Marine Community College. Uh, come to Summit, game times are 5.30 and 7.15, uh, so please come and support our Bears basketball programs. Uh, I know our football program this past year, uh, we had a mid-year signing uh, this past December, middle of December. Uh, football had about 14 mid-year signees, and they had 15 mid-year graduates out of the 21 total sophomores. And again, we do have another signing period coming up here the uh, first Wednesday of February for both our students coming in as well as students leaving. Uh, so there will be more news there. I know our baseball and softball teams are progressing. They're, they're, that's, that's on us. Uh, Mid-February, we'll start with those programs. Of course, we look forward to spring sports, and we'll hear more about that as we get close to that. Uh, I know we have probably the opportunity to take some pictures after this press conference. I want to encourage you to do that. And I do appreciate you coming and supporting Coach Mills. And again, Zach Mills, new soccer coach, Southwest Mississippi Community College.